what having anxiety and being shy is like. Uh, it took me forever to realize what this was. This is, I guess, now the new thing of if, if you are shy, uh, and usually if you are shy, the part of it is anxiety driven. I mean, I'm a little bit of both. I'm very, very extroverted, but it's it's very big to get to know me first before I am. So here are five things that, that if you struggle with shyness and anxiety that you're gonna be able to relate to, maybe this will even help somebody out there. My name is Eric. If you're new to my channel, hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, it's all about mental health, mental illness, suicide awareness, sobriety, making sure that nobody goes through life alone. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a counselor. I'm not a therapist. I'm none of that. I'm diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, and MDD. I lost a wife and a father to suicide. I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. I've struggled with self-harm before. I attempted to commit suicide myself in September 2018. I've, I've been through a lot, and so I like to share through experiences to help remind people that they're not alone. So here are five things that you could definitely relate to if you are struggling with anxiety and you're very, very shy, that a lot of times people don't understand. Um, especially if you have the extroverted friends, they don't understand. So hopefully this maybe will help somebody understand out there that's struggling with it a little bit. When you first meet somebody, you're extremely awkward. I'm very awkward. Like I will blurt out some of the most awkward things in the world. I will blurt out things that I probably shouldn't even blurt out or I become almost too open about things that I shouldn't be open about. Like, and I feel awkward. I have the butterflies in my tummy. I mean, I just feel awkward when I'm talking to somebody and I've never met them before in my life because I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Hi, and it can be awkward. But I know you know what I'm talking about. It's just one of those moments where you're just like, oh, and it's like just, oh, you can feel your teeth clench. You can feel your stomach clench. And you almost don't want to meet them because you are that shy. Like, I get it. Been there. You are highly freaky. Yes, I said freaky. And no one knows it until they get to meet you. You come off as a normal person, but you are a closet freak. And I don't, I don't know what your freakness is, but you have that freakness. And you have to admit to it. That's like the worst one to admit to. People that are really shy and people with anxiety, I found, are extremely um, freaky in a lot of ways um, when it comes to almost a coping mechanism. At least for me, it's a coping mechanism with the shyness. Um, and then once you get to know us, you, you realize that, wow, this person is a freak. Yep. And that's a little bit awkward. But hey, guess what? It makes us unique. And don't be embarrassed by it. Don't be embarrassed by how you are. Uh, the best is, is when you start to own it because it makes it so much more easier and so much more fun. One of the things that you don't realize, like the worst thing that you can say to us is speak up. A lot of times when, when we're shy and we deal with anxiety, I, like I used to mumble. Uh, and my mom would even say, hey, we, we can't hear you. Or she would even speak up when I'd be like at a fast food place because I would be mumbling. Um, and I would talk really low and in my head, it was loud, but I'm, I'm shy. I'm, I'm struggling. And she'd be like, Hey, speak up. And it's like, Oh, and so one of the things that if you do say that to somebody that they, they are shy and they do struggle with social anxiety, that's like, that's like the, 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 the just the uppercut punch to the face that we just freeze. But you know what? You can work around it. Just ask them to repeat what they're saying. It makes it a little bit easier. A lot more friendlier. Trust me. People with anxiety and shyness, we, we daydream a lot. Um, we daydream like 24-7. We're stuck in our daydreams because it's a comfortable place. There's nothing wrong with daydreaming. I like to daydream, actually, and I, I don't like the amount of time that I can spend doing it. But it's like our happy place. We actually have like a happy place and happy thoughts in our head that we can re escape to. Uh, sometimes that is just, it's almost in a, a release. And the, the hard part though is because we deal with anxiety and because of the daydreaming, we also can play some pretty bad scenarios through our head. So it's one of those that you got to be careful. And if you see us daydreaming, we literally have disassociated. We're not here. So yes, if you say something to us, you're probably going to startle us because we're literally in, in here. But you know what? Nothing wrong with that. Lastly, we're really funny if you get to know us. I mean, people that are shy and, and struggle with anxiety and stuff, we're really funny people because we make fun of everything. We, we know what it's like to joke. And it's also one of those things that you want people around you to feel comfortable and you want them to laugh because you know what it's like to struggle. So sense of humor is that huge coping mechanism that a lot of people go to that, that you do have that really off the wall, sarcastic sense of humor. I mean, my, my sense of humor is very, very twisted. Um, I, I come up with all sorts of weird jokes. Everything to me can be funny. And I love to have other people around me laugh because that's the only way that I don't feel as awkward in being able to engage with. So 
the, having that sense of humor, man, find some, find some shy and anxiety ridden people because they have the best sense of humor in the world. And if you need a laugh, just hit them up. And believe me, they got a meme library. But hey, if you struggle with this, you're not alone. And I'm sure somebody's going to watch this video and go, yep, I know what you're talking about. I'm all of that. You're calling me out now. I'm calling myself out because that's me too. And it's just, it's fun to realize that, hey, we aren't alone because that's what it's all about. When we get trapped up here, we feel that we're the only one and nobody else realizes. And just remember this, that you do matter. You're not alone. I mean, hit the likes button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, especially if you can relate because I can. I mean, I have some videos coming up that are going to be a little bit shocking and I think it'll be interesting, but it relates even to some of what, what is in this. Um, if, if you are shy and you struggle with anxiety, I know what it's like. Trust me, you're not alone. Uh, in the description box, I have links to all my social medias. Hit me up on social media even, or, or get into the mental health discord communities. They're, they're down below. It's free peer to peer support. And you know what? You can meet new people and you don't have to be shy. Uh, even have links down below to things on Amazon, like fidget cubes, fidget spinners, things that I use, uh, when I'm struggling with my anxiety, even have a link down below to better help because it is trial and error to find out what works for you. If you never tried therapy before, please, and you are struggling, try and get with a therapist and it sometimes it takes a little bit of trial and error to find the right one even have a link down below to renewal recovery which is a recovery center of 30-day inpatient just to work on this i mean it's trial and error to find out what works for you. you're an amazing human being i mean you made it through 100 percent of your worst days and make it through two today and no matter what it is that you're going through you got this because you made it to today so hit the like and subscribe button let's do this together